Pause for Patrick is a local nonprofit helping support those in the community struggling with mental health issues. It was started by Franzi Romer to honor her son Patrick and to keep his memory alive. Patrick struggled with anxiety and depression, but found companionship with his black Labrador retrie retriever. Franzi and Patrick's sister Magdalene join us now along with Jake Conway, one of the first Pause for Patrick clients. Good morning to Good all morning. of you. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us how people can get one of these support animals and, and what the money goes for. So what we do is we, we ask people to fill out a service request form on our website, pauseforpatrick.org. And then we, um, I connect them with a pause wish grantor and we walk them through the process. We help them every step of the way, facilitating their certification letters, as well as um, supporting them financially in, in um, obtaining a dog and the training, and then also helping them secure their um, living arrangements. So people may have heard this week in the news that the, the airlines are not letting people travel with these dogs. Explain the difference between the, these animals and a, and a, and a service dog and, and how what you're doing fits into all that. So I don't know um, as much about the new guidelines um, that came out a couple days ago, but the difference between a, a service dog is going to be the most trained dog, and that's not the area that we're working for. It's somebody, it's a dog trained for a specific behavior. A therapy dog is, um, do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so a therapy dog is, um, they have a specific handler who trains that dog, and then they then take the dog, their own therapy dog, to other places to give that those people support, whereas an ESA is one-on-one -on -one connection, so like your own animal gives you support. And Jake, you have um, a dog, and how has it been helping you? You know, it's been uh, definitely an interesting experience. Um, he just, we're best friends, he's formed a great connection with me, um, and I don't know, he just really helps me get through the day-to-day uh, as you can see like that. <laughs> what is the training and cost in, involved for these animals? And can, can you do this if somebody already has a pet, can you work with that pet? So uh, the, the training is we work, we can go anywhere. So we can do, um, we can help people find ESAs in Alaska or in Colorado. We, we do a lot of the online stuff and then we find a local trainer that can work for them and we pay for that training just basic training basic manners training because truly you don't need specific training to have an esa and then um the cost for the dog the adoption fees we help them with that as well maybe uh uh franzi and magdalene you can talk about uh patrick and why you decided to do this so Patrick struggled with um, depression and anxiety for a lot of his life. And, um, but he always, on his darkest days, he always felt that connection with um, animals, especially his, his soulmate, Cece, um, who tragically died the first day of his senior year of high school. Um, he did, we did adopt a new dog, Black Lab as well. Um, but he was somebody who was not, um, he resisted therapy a lot, but those animals really brought him happiness and um, comfort. So we wanted to do something to honor his memory. Yeah. And Jake, when, when you don't have the pet by your side, what is life like for you? Uh, you know, honestly, I spend a lot of my time just thinking about him uh, because, you know, he is still a puppy and I do worry about him like I would a child. So. Um, but yeah, he's definitely brought a lot of joy to my life and uh, helped me with all the little things. Are there certain things that drive your anxiety or is it you're in a perpetual state of it? Uh, I mean, really right now it's just, you know, Zoom learning is not uh, the best for everyone. And I'm definitely a person who, um, you know, has additional symptoms flare up because of it. So um, he's definitely helped me through this whole transition to virtual learning. Well, we appreciate all of you joining us and uh, thank you so much for sharing your story. For more information, you can head to pauseforpatrick.org. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, happy holiday. Happy thank holidays. You. Hey, Paul.